This is a CBC Podcast. As I talk about it, I can feel and smell everything that I did back then. It was October, but it was Thompson. (laughs) And it was just lightly snowing, and I can just feel little (laughs) snowflakes on my face. And I walked around the back of the house, and I could see her footprints in in this light snow. And uh, I was calling her, and she wasn't answering. Joanne said, what is that? Is that a mannequin? And I go, oh, this don't look good. The phone rings. And I hear my dad pick it up. And then he hangs it up. And he comes to the top of our stairs. And he looks down at me. I'm looking up at him. And he says, that's my little girl. I found a gun. I got it cleaned by a guy. I got him to get me bullets. I loaded that gun up. Carried it in my Camaro for about five years. It felt like a murderer had gotten away with something. It just felt like absolute failure on every level. Failure of the justice system, failure of the police, failure even of myself. I mean, we're still looking for answers. It's a 30-year-old homicide where we don't have anybody charged or convicted, charged and convicted mm-hmm. of her murder. I was wondering if you would have a... Why would my name come up? And what's your angle on it? I don't really have an angle other than just trying to find out who did it, of course. Yeah, I wouldn't mind finding out who was responsible myself. So unequivocally, this is your, this is, you you should tell me now, did you have anything to do with the murder? Maybe it bothers him. I don't know who he was involved with, but it sounded like he wasn't alone. Why was he focused on? Um... That's information that I'm, I think you'll be able to find out. Someone Knows Something, Season 5. Coming soon. Are you a child of chaos, Dave? I enjoy chaos, yeah. I hear you. I'm a child of chaos. That's a fact. For more CBC Original Podcasts, go to cbc.ca slash originalpodcasts.